Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to a very special episode of Andy Talks Navy. And in today's episode, guys, we're going to be talking about my four-year anniversary of getting out of the U.S. Navy and what it's meant to me and what I've gone through in these past four years. And it's been tremendous. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so let's get right into it. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like a completely different person now than when I was at that bus stop in uh, Washington State, right as I have my DD-214 in my hands, my sea bag off to the side. It's almost like I don't even know who that person is anymore. <laughs> like I go back to look at my, my last Andy Japani video for now. It's just crazy to see that perspective of things and just where I was and my headspace and stuff at the time. Yeah, I've just grown so much over the years. You know, maybe a little too literally, but uh, we're working on that, we're working on that. I'll just give you the Cliff's Notes version of my story because I've told it so many freaking times, but uh, the basic gist of it is that when I first got out of the US Navy, I went to Western Michigan University out in Kalamazoo, Michigan originally doing a computer information systems major and I failed miserably <laughs> that first semester so I decided to bet on myself and switch over to video production and uh, did a little better that semester enough to keep me going in the program and then eventually depression anxiety all that stuff started happening like I had all this time as a college student to process all of that baggage that I've been just stuffing in the back, all the, the mental baggage and stuff. And then once I had some time to actually decompress from my military life and to go through all that mental baggage that you've accumulated over the years is very taxing to say the least. It really began a spiral in my mental health. My grades started to, to slip and I decided to um, transfer over to uh, the community college to uh, get my GPA back up. And plus, with Western, the, uh, the video production major was focused more on traditional media, so like TV and films and movies and stuff like that. Uh, whereas the, uh, the community college, uh, KVCC, Kalamazoo Valley, uh, was focused on uh, more of the newer media, so like tube. <laughs> and stuff like that. So I figured it was uh, a little more up my alley and I get to learn some some new things, if anything, about the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. And I did learn a couple new things, to be fair. Yeah, my mental health was just in a really bad place. And even though I was learning about the things that I'm interested in, it just wasn't enough to really get things sorted up here. It got to a point where I decided to just take a break. Um, I contacted my folks and moved in with them in 2018 to work on a production company out in Ohio. Made a lot of great videos for them, but it ultimately didn't really get off the ground as we had expected it to. And tensions started to rise in the house. So I decided it was just in my best interest to uh, get out of that environment and to focus on going back to college. Talked to my brother and uh, gave me a place to stay out here in North Carolina. And I've been here for almost a year now. Just the growth within this year has been, <laughs> I know I keep saying tremendous, but it's been tremendous. You know, I feel like such a different person now. I'm more focused on my goals to get back out to Japan, to grow my freelancing business, and to put together these multiple revenue streams and to build my portfolio so I can then go to other places and I'm not just limited to Japan. I just want to go out there and make the videos that I want to make and make work that I'm, I'm really proud of. You know, bet on myself and pursue my dream of living out in Japan. That dream doesn't come to pass if uh, I can't get a visa or whatever the case, then I'll know for sure that I did everything I could and it is what it is. And at least I, at least I went for it. And I won't have any regret at the end of the day. 
that's kind of the ultimate lesson here is just, you know, if you have a dream or something like that and you're passionate enough about it, you can definitely at least see it through. And even if the dream doesn't come true, you can walk away with your head held high, brush yourself off and be like, at least I went for it. I have no regrets. And that's kind of my ultimate life goal is to live without regrets. I think I'm doing pretty good with this, uh, this return to Japan, which I know this is an Andy Talks Navy and I'm supposed to talk about, you know, my military experience, but to be honest, you know, these past four years, I've just been feeling so far removed from the military. I see little glimpses of it here and there because obviously, you know, I live in a military town, so, you know, you can't not notice that. <laughs> yeah, as far as it playing like a normal day-to-day -day role in my life, not really. I think that at this point, I've gone through the mental baggage inside my, uh, my head brain here. And uh, I feel pretty comfortable with myself now and I've got everything sorted. And uh, my goal is to move out to Japan next year. And I've been making some moves behind the scenes. I can't get too into the weeds just yet, but just know I've been making a lot of moves behind the scenes. Start seeing the gears begin to turn because it's no longer gonna be just affirmations and positivity and like, I'm gonna make it to Japan, guys. It's real, it's gonna happen, trust me. Like, you're gonna see some results, some action involved with that. So, I've been feeling really nervous about it, actually. But uh, that's when I know that it's actually starting to happen is when I feel that little tinge of nervousness. Of just like, oh shit. Yeah, nervous, but excited. But in any event, guys, I feel like a whole new man and I feel like I know my next goal and I have my next mission, as it were, in front of me and things are starting to get real. I can't wait to take you guys on that journey with me. It's almost like when I joined the Navy nearly a decade ago. Yeah, I just can't wait for the next phase of this channel to kick off. And I've been waiting for, uh, for four years at this point. I see the light at the end of the tunnel and things are gonna be kicking off pretty smartly. So stay tuned for that. And with that said, guys, it's been a while, so uh, a little rusty, but with that said, guys, this is the Andy san Sign off for now here uh, for one night only here at Andy Talks Navy HQ. Thanking you guys for um, being with me throughout my naval career online and uh, for watching my stuff, sharing it. And I also got to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, rating with the stars for you old school followers. And of course, sending a few friends to the party. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.